So we're at LeWeb 2011 and seeing some really cool iPad apps. One of which is ReadMill, which is a dramatically improved book reader. And we're going to see it right now. Who are you? Uh, I'm Henrik, an entrepreneur and hacker, originally out of Sweden, but now moved to the best startup city in Europe, Berlin, uh, to start my new company, ReadMill, together with my best friend, David. We, we had a lot of fun in Berlin when we were there, but we'll talk about that in a second. What's this book reader, and why, why did you start a book, com book reading company when you got Amazon, and you got Apple, and pro Google, all fighting in this world? Well, that's what makes it fun, right? You yeah. know, being up with the big boys. No, but seriously, nobody takes reading seriously. Uh, and especially when it comes to the social aspect. And we saw a huge gap and a huge opportunity in making that experience really, really well. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. So give me uh, three or four examples of what makes your reader better than the uh, Kindle reader or the Google book reader or the yeah. Apple reader. First of all, it's connected to the web. So we automatically track what you're reading, lets you very easily kind of share highlights and tap into what books are popular among your social graphs. So that's the main important thing. And also, we made an, a reading experience that's very, very um, um, elegant and kind of easy to grasp. Not a lot of buttons, uh, not a lot of uh, uh, settings and things, just a very pure and clean uh, experience. Um, and also, we intend to track your reading across lots of different devices. So we're not doing a locked-in service with our own proprietary formats or our own, um, uh, just our own apps. So we're building a, a reading API and a reading tracking service that anyone can tap into. Because reading, digital reading today is extremely fragmented, and we want to bring it all together and make it social. When you open this up for the first time, how do I get a book in there, and what, what books do I have to choose from? So, uh, today we only support non-DRM EPUB, but there's a lot of stores on the web where you can get them. O'Reilly, for example, A Book Apart. There's the whole free uh, library, of course, from Gutenberg. There's Feedbooks. There's a lot of different things. To get it on the iPad, it's very simple. We have a really clean Dropbox integration. So you sync up with your Dropbox, and it automatically downloads all of the books you have. OK. And what? Take me around the UI when you're on the home page. What do you see that's different, that, that shows that this is a better book reader? So the, the first thing you see is that we do none of what we call skeuomorphism. So there's no fake wooden bookshelf, there's no page curls, it's nothing like that. This is made for a digital device. This is made for the iPad from the ground up. So what you can see is uh, in your list of books, you can see how far you've come into the book, how much time you've spent, and how much time you have left. And you can see small portions in the progress bar, and these are actually times when you sat down reading. They're also connected to a location if you opt into that, so you can see a map of where you actually spend time reading books. Oh, that's interesting. So, so that's pretty cool. And when you open up a book, uh, you see our very clean, uh, simple reading experience. And when you go through the book, if you find a passage that you like, you just uh, highlight that passage, tap the highlight button, you see this really nice curtain coming in from above. Let's you add a comment to that quote, uh, shared on social services, and then tap send and you're done. And now Can that's I, shared to your followers. I don't, when I'm reading a book, I don't necessarily want to put it on Twitter. Can I put it on, in, in a place that I can go back to it and see it later, like sure. if I'm studying a book? Sure, you can just share it on ReadMill, uh, and it will be there forever. We'll store it for you indefinitely. Uh, and, but if you want, you can also share it on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. But not everything, that's up to obviously. Yeah. Um, and when you're done with the book, you can very easily just tap one button, write the review from inside of the book, and you're done. So it's, it's very kind of, you know, lowest the threshold to contributing what you think about a book and what are the interesting parts. Yeah. How, how are you going to make a business out of this? Because it, it seems like a free book. It's, is it a free book reader? It's, it's free. It's free. So how are you going to make a business out so, of this? It, that's that's super easy. I mean, there's so the, the, the publishers uh, today have no idea on data. They have nothing. Uh, nobody has provided a rich data platform for them to kind of you know see how people actually consume the books, how they're reading them, when, where, at what time, um, uh, you know how uh, popularity travels for a book across the world. All they see is delayed sales stats per country. Yeah. So there is a lot of things to do there. And also, if we become the main platform for you to find your next book to read through your friends, that's going to mean significant affiliate revenue. Very cool. How did you get into this? What, what, what drove your uh, research into 
why to do this company? So I've always been wanting to build a website. Always had this problem where you have to enter all the information manually. And I always thought that was too big of a hurdle. But now when we saw the iPad and we saw iBooks not being the experience we hoped for, we kind of decided what we wanted to change, that we wanted to change that. But, but the thing was that the inflection point or the inception was really when we met up with uh, Katarina Fake in San Francisco last year. And when we were pitching her what we wanted to do in kind of tracking and you know social around books, she showed us an amazing copy, her copy of Ulysses. It was filled with scribbles, with notes, with marginalia as we call it. And I was amazed, but she was depressed uh, because none of it was shareable. She read it five times, spent an immense amount of time in this book. And uh, she said when we left, nobody's ever going to see this again. And me and David at that time, we just decided we wanted to change that. Very cool. Um, how are you funded? Tell me a little bit about the fundamentals of the company. Uh, so it's uh, two, uh, two founders, me and my best friend David Schalkerud. Uh, we uh, started in Stockholm and now we're in Berlin. The team is now nine people, uh, roughly, and we're funded by uh, Passion Capital and uh, Index C. Very, very cool. Um, tell me just briefly about Berlin. What's going on there? Uh, what's not going on there? I mean, it's the hottest startup city in Europe right now. Everybody's coming there and it's moving so many interesting companies. Yeah. And what's so cool is that everybody's talking about, you know, how you access developers around Europe now because it's really hard. The thing is, in Berlin, you don't need to hire developers from Berlin because you hire them from all over Europe, even from the US. And relocation is no hassle since there's apartments everywhere and salaries are low and living costs are low. So we, we just hire people from the UK and even from the US, relocate them in a zip and it's done. And it's super powerful. Very cool. Yeah. Where do we find you? Uh, Readmail.com. Very cool. Thank you so much Thank for showing so much, it to me. Robert. It's really great. I'm going to be using it as my book reader now. Cool. Honored to be here. <laughs>